Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Philip Magnus, and today I am doing something I swore I would never do, but I have finally, at long last, caught out to peer pressure. And I've decided to do a TBR video in which I will be talking about all the books I hope to read over the course of the month of May. By the time this will have seen uh, live on YouTube, this video that is, I will have read this here, Kings of the Wild, the debut novel of Mr. Nicholas Ames, who is well known for it. It is a much beloved book, although I myself enjoy it. I would not say that I'm one of those who are absolutely madly in love with it. I see some issues at the textual level that I hope to talk about a little bit uh, longer, but it's all going to come in its own time, hopefully. That's one. Second, we've got another Murderbot Diary, the exit strategy one. And I am excited to dig into it. I'm sure that as soon as I am going to open it, I'm going to be done because these are so short. And yep, I am already done. No point to have it on the list. Oh well. Then we've got a couple of comic books. The first one is the fourth volume of Doctor Strange's, um, or rather of Jason Aaron's Doctor Strange run. I was going to say of Doctor Strange's Jason Aaron run, which is not exactly incorrect, because honestly, I do not like the Doctor that Aaron portrays in this one. I love some of Aaron's work, I loved his Thor, many of his Thor comic books, let's be honest, not all of them were phenomenal, but many of them were, and uh, his Doctor Strange is simply not up to snuff. I do not enjoy it, I don't know why I keep reading it, it's the completionist in me, but uh, I want to be done with it, I, 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 maybe I like, maybe, just maybe, I like to make fun of Jason Aaron sometimes. I, I know I respect him, but at the same time, you do stories which are not great, you deserve to be made fun of, especially because you are capable of just so much better in terms of penmanship of comic books. That's one comic book I will be reading. I will be reading three more. All of them um, comic books I've been looking forward to reading for many years now that I've never gotten around to. This is the Jessica Jones alias run that made uh, Brian Michael Bendis the top honcho at Marvel for about a decade, really. The 2000s, as far as I recall. He was phenomenal with a lot of Avengers stuff when I was just getting into comics and the Alias uh, books I hear were what shot him into fame. So I'm very, very excited to see this uh, defining story about the character of Jessica Jones. So much on comic books, unless I read Giant Days Volume 6, which I'm very liable to do. Giant Days is my happy place at this moment in time, my absolute favourite comic book. It is probably the best comic book I've ever read. Simply the most fun, enjoyable, uh, heartwarming slice of life you could find out there in my humble opinion. What else do we have? What else do we have? We have Shards of the Earth by Adrian Tchaikovsky. I'm very excited about this one. I have an early advanced reader copy of it, which I'm going to be reading across this month, but blogging about next month. Very excited about another Adrian Tchaikovsky book. I have read two so far, The Doors of Eden by him and Dogs of War, and both of them just stunned me. I believe from the bottom of my heart, that Adrian Tchaikovsky is one of the all-time greats of science fiction, and he will be a grandmaster of SF in no time flat. I've got another few books, and two of them, rather three of them, I only have two physical copies, but I'm reading the whole Empire, Empires of Dust uh, trilogy by Anna Smith Spark, and this one has a lovely uh, Adrian Tchaikovsky quote at the top of it, fierce gripping fantasy. I'm sure it will be, I'm absolutely certain it will grip me and not let me go, which 
might be good or it might be bad depending on how well my bachelor's thesis goes over the next few days. Last but not least among the thick, enormous fantasy books, I've got this beauty, The Books of Earthsea, and I have read two of the six novels, I think, in all, or was it five? I don't recall, honestly. Maybe I could look into the overall uh, the Wizard of Earthsea. Yep, that's uh, six, six books, six books. And then we've got five short stories in all for about a thousand pages worth of classical fantasy goodness. I have loved my time in Earthsea so far and I have been meaning to return to it and finish the amazing journey for some time. I would like to bring my essay on Wizard of Earthsea to this channel very soon. I wrote it maybe in 2019. I was uh, very happy with how it came out, so maybe I will uh, dust it off and make a video essay of it. And of course, I would love, love, love to write a follow-up for every single one of the other novels in this massive collection, which is beautifully illustrated by Charles Vess, simply a master of fantasy illustrations. Yep. Beautiful. And those are most of the books that I have planned. I'll probably fail in reading all of them, let's face it, but I'll try for the month of May. If you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see an update on how my reading is going, let me know in the comments and of course smash that like button, why don't you smash the subscription button as well and you know, you know what you need to do, you have to click that bell for notifications. Notifications are important and they help massively, just a massive amount of help. I'll see you next time. Until then, I'm Philip Magnus, and uh, I like books. That's that's the long and short of it, I suppose. Bye.